Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. With iOS 8 comes the possibility to install different third-party keyboards. First, I would like to show you the default Apple keyboard. As you can see, you have some suggestions above the keyboard. So, I can choose to click on the words instead of typing. For example, the fact that I can get it right as an example and you can also of course type the words the new apple keyboard I did it a bit slower than I usually do because you should see the predictions I got above the keyboard, um, the suggestions and so on. So this keyboard is pretty neat and actually still my favorite keyboard on iOS because uh, it's really fast and uh, doesn't crash so much as the other keyboards do. The huge disappointment with the Apple default keyboard though is that you don't get the predictions and suggestions on the Swedish keyboard. Then you see I don't have any suggestions above the keyboard. So that's a huge disappointment. I don't know why. It only works with English. The second keyboard I would like to show you is called Flexi and this keyboard I like a lot. Is the second best keyboard after uh, the Apple default keyboard and uh, Flexi can handle both Swedish and English so that's great for me it uh, supports a lot of different languages and as you can see here on the space bar I can switch to Swedish by just draw my finger like that Swedish English and this keyboard is awesome because it has an incredible uh, uh, automated correction. So if I type the word wrong, it corrects to the right word automatically and it works really good. As you can see there, you can type really fast with the Flexi keyboard and it has some gestures to um, do stuff like uh, a punctuation like that and then you can change the punctuation to other like uh, by doing this. Or you can delete by swiping like that or you can change the word as you can see there I can change it to I by swiping down I can change back to the by swiping up down I down the and it works really good and uh, you can have uh, different sizes of the keyboard and uh, you can even hide the spacebar by doing that two fingers and type really fast because you don't have to use spacebar you can just swipe to to use the spacebar instead like that and that As you can see, you make a space. If you want to have the space bar back, you just swipe up again with two fingers. So Flex is a really cool keyboard. The next keyboard I would like to show you is uh, Swift Key, the very popular keyboard on Android, and it works quite well on iOS too. I don't like the swiping, the flow so much on iOS 
It works much better on Android. For example, when you swipe short words, it doesn't um, know what you're trying to type. But with longer words, the swiping, the flow works much better. But the predictions is really cool with SwiftKey. So it basically know what I want to type. As you can see here, testing. Swift key, key, board. As you can see, you can use the predictions a lot to type. And uh, that's pretty nifty. You can use um, more predictions than uh, typing real words and doing a really fast typing anyway. One of the biggest problems with the Swift key is that it doesn't support so many languages yet. So my Swedish is not supported, for example. Another huge problem with the Swift key is Google Plus. It doesn't work so good in Google Plus. So, for example, if I want to uh, um, tag a, a person in Google Plus. Uh, I can tag by doing this as you can see the names comes up and I click on that name and when I hit the space bar the name disappears this is a huge bug and uh, of all the keyboards I have tried it only happens in Swift key so this is no good So this is why I haven't set SwiftKey as my default keyboard yet. I prefer the Apple keyboard and the, the second best is Flexi. But if I swipe, as you can see here, it works good with longer words. As you can see, it has some problems, but with short words like is, as you can see, it got its and as doesn't work. So two characters uh, or one character words doesn't work so good. Three characters is um, not so good either when doing the flow swiping in SwiftKey. Hopefully they fix these uh, bugs in SwiftKey quite fast because it's a great keyboard otherwise. The last keyboard I would like to show you is uh, Swipe, the more classic keyboard, the first keyboard with uh, swiping and uh, I must say that swiping is awesome in uh, Swipe because uh, you can swipe short words, long words, no matter what and uh, the predictions and the word suggestions is not as good as on swift key though but they are very good still so but um, swiping as I said is really good it works awesomely good and short words as as is This works pretty good, as you can see. Uh, SwiftKey had problems with those short words, but Swipe handled them perfectly fine. So if you're into swiping, and swiping works good on the iPhone 5S with uh, one-handed use, so swiping is quite nice to do. Really good. But... Um, as I said, doesn't support so many language yet. So hopefully they add more languages soon. So that was the first keyboard I have tried on iOS 8. And uh, as I said, the Apple default keyboard is still the best, but uh, the second best is Flexi. That's what I think. 
Okay, please like this video. Bye.